This was all over the news. The street in Berlin was found to be contaminated with radioactivity. All those websites posted about it, and most of them told kind of not real true facts. You can see it like here on this English website. It said that it was reading 31.8 millisievert, and that the normal range would be 4 millisievert. So that's, that's crap. So I'm gonna tell you my story. I was informed of this incident on Sunday evening by YouTube user HTTP Killer. Thanks a lot again for alerting me early, because otherwise I wouldn't have found it out until the next day. So, and this is the very next day, early in the morning, at about 5.30 a.m. And you can see I'm pretty much alone in the spot, trying to see if there's elevated background radiation. It seems like they have marked the spot with like a circle, with a white circle, you can see it there, right on the asphalt. And the background radiation is not really increased and I was trying to find out what's going on. So obviously they had parked a car on that spot. And let's look below that car, there's a lot of lead. Those are all lead bricks basically. So that's the reason why the background radiation isn't all that high. But at this point I thought that the source would probably not be too hot anyway. However, I was proven wrong, totally wrong, later on. And there you can see the background radiation is increasing to over 0.4 microsievert. That's not too bad. In some spots it'll be even over one microsievert. And that's the alert threshold I had set for the day to be alerted easily. But yeah, it wasn't all that much, so I decided to just uh, use my pancake probe for now and see if I can detect something special. Here we go, that's the CDV with the attached pancake probe. Now I'm getting quite interesting pockets of radiation depending where I place the probe. I just switch it on times 100, as you can see there. You can see that the radiation is not evenly distributed, or more like you can hear it by the clicks. So that was basically all I could find out at this point in time. So I decided to just come back later and see if there's any work going on, or if there's special radiation protection personnel around. And Well, and then they finally arrived and started by removing that car and revealing the light shield. So they started by measuring the activities on top of that and discussing something. Anybody who was not directly in charge was told to keep a distance. So I was keeping a distance with the physicist and we discovered something cool. And we're getting excited about the device to measure neutrons. So I was moving a bit closer. I like how that devices are all in alarm mode. So I decided to check my gamma scout as well, and you can see we've got elevated background radiation. And in the back they're preparing the neutron measuring. And the reporter makes the funniest comment ever. Well, and so I end up giving interviews as well. The more and more guys were getting ready to take pictures of my device and ask me stuff and well, that was kind of funny. Well, and of course the newspapers reported about this in a totally wrong way, like this device is measuring 31 microsievert per hour and it says that is eight times more than normal, 31 millisievert. I don't think people would be very happy if that was millisievert. Oh well. Yeah, 
Oh, it says, who has lost the cesium-137? Well, at least they got the isotope, right? Because, um, as for the next newspaper here, they said it's called Caesar-137. So, yeah, Caesar, and there must be some Roman guy buried there, or what? I don't know. So the newspapers ge are getting basically everything wrong. It's totally horrible. But the coolest thing was from this newspaper, the Berliner Morgenpost. They said, um, a value of 0.7 microsievert per hour and 10 meters distance. That's about three times the normal range, says, uh, says an employee of the LPS. What the hell? I'm not an employee of the LPS. Oh, well. Um, but she said the radiation, um, at that distance would be, uh, low and, um, yeah, diminishes faster. They kind of put the wrong sentence there. I just told them about the inverse square, square law, and they basically said that the radiation would not be penetrating, and that's not the case. It's gamma radiation, but due to the inverse square law. Well, I told them that, but they obviously didn't get it. And then, that's the funniest sentence. Um, die Physikerin means uh, the physicist, like um, the female physicist. We have genders and stuff in uh, German. So, um, yeah, I'm being called a physicist here. The physicist was right about her guess that it might be a radioactive source that is used to check uh, pipes for leaks. And they said that the physicist was just proven right later on as the source has been, uh, had been retrieved and analyzed. So, that is great. So, first of all, the reporters really uh, despised me because I kind of look, well, not really like the typical woman with weird clothes and stuff mixed together that doesn't really go well together and with a little cheap compact camera versus all the professional equipment. So, yeah, they kind of despised me at the beginning, but in the end, after 30 minutes, I end up as a physicist. I think that was the most epic, quick career that was ever made. So yeah, I was continuing to pose my device for photos, which the photographers were taking. You can see, we're getting up a bit closer to the source. We are just getting 2.5 microsievert already. That was the spike my Gamma Scout had logged during the time of being on top of the source. You can see that all background radiation is just a flat line in that graph now. So without that very big spike, here's the background radiation and you can see it's elevated as I'm standing somewhere near around the source. So yeah, to sum it up, the source was multiple curie of cesium-137 that were left for whatever reason in a pipe, in an underground pipe. Um, it is still a speculation as of why it was left there and um, the police is investigating it and apart from that yeah as I said you could measure like you can see here in the photo just about two or three microsieverts from many meters away and right on top it was 30,000 microsieverts or 30 millisieverts and yeah I think that was the most epic and awesome fun I ever had in my hometown so eventually I end up on the news